This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. A rule can be created in Outlook to manage your email. So we can add a rule that interrogates the email that arrives and does something to it, whether it marks it as read, whether it moves it into another folder, whether it deletes it. So how do we set up a rule and get it to work and possibly even disable it for a temporary period of time? Well, to set your rule up in the first place, we go to File, Manage Rules and Alerts. And in this section, we have Email Rules. If you have more than one account set up, then you can choose which of your email accounts from this drop list here the rule applies to. So let's choose the training account. Currently there are no rules, otherwise they would be listed here. And as soon as you have some rules listed here, the description for that rule is then shown here. So let's start a new rule. Now to create a new rule, we can either choose some of the predefined templates. So we have here state organized and there's a number of templates, move messages from someone to a particular folder, move messages with specific words to a folder, move messages sent to a public group to a folder, etc. Stay up to date, display mail from someone in the new item alert window, play a sound when I get messages from someone. So you can determine that you get a different sound from different people. Send an alert to my mobile device when I get messages from a particular person or start with a blank rule. Now there are two blank rules, one that applies to messages that are incoming and one that applies to messages that are outgoing, so ones that you've sent. So let's choose to apply a rule on messages that I receive. Here's the description. It says apply this rule after the message arrives. Next. Now the condition that will effectively trigger the rule to start with can be any one of these. So it's from a person, it's got specific words in the subject, it comes through a specified account. It's sent only to me as opposed to copied into lots of people. Where my name is in the to box as opposed to being in the CC or the BCC. Where it's marked as important, etc. And you can see we can choose whether it has words in the subject or the body or in the header or in the recipient's address, etc. Whether it's got selected properties of documents. There's lots of triggers that you can set. So if we want to pick up all emails that are incoming, that have the word project X in the subject line, then I would choose this option here. And I put a little tick in. You then come down to the bottom where it says edit the rule description. And it's then here that you click on specific words to add in the words that will trigger the rule. So the words are gonna be project X. So it's project space X, add. And I can add further items. So if I was trying to pick up a few items that might be in the subject line. This needs to have project X in the subject line. OK. This text then changes to project X. So that's the trigger. Next. What do you want to do with the message once this rule has been triggered by the condition you've just set? So if project X is in the subject line, I could move it to a folder, assign it a particular category. I could delete it. I could permanently delete it. So instead of just sending it to the deleted items, I could just throw it away completely. I could make a copy into a particular folder, I could forward it to particular people, etc, etc. I could play a sound, I could start an application. There's plenty of things that can happen once this rule is triggered. Well, all I want to do is move it. So I want to move it to a specified folder. So you move it to the specified folder. So I then have to click on specified to define that folder. And within my inbox, you'll see I have project one. So that's where I want to move it to. So it's got to go from the inbox into the Kate folder into the project one folder. OK. And you can see that's then down here in the rule description. Next, I can add exceptions. So at the minute, every single email that arrives that has project X in the subject line will be moved to the project one folder. But I could say except if it's from these particular people or except if it also contains these words except through a specified account, etc. Plenty of possible exceptions in that list there. For this particular rule, there's going to be no exception. Every single email with the word project X in the subject line will be moved. Next, specify a name for this rule. And you can see it's picked up project X because that's the text that I placed in. Might just change the P to a capital. Now I can choose to run this rule now on messages currently already in the inbox. So it will go through the current entries in the inbox. 
I want to turn the rule on and do I want to create this rule on all accounts? So that's only there because I have multiple email accounts set up. So that's definitely not a yes. So the tick stays out of there. I definitely want to turn the rule on and I don't want to run it on things already in the inbox. Finish. The rule then appears in your rule list with a little description down here. Okay. Home. If I now receive an email with project X in the title, it will automatically move across to here to project one and drop straight into this folder. So I suppose what I need to do now is test that that works. So having got two emails now sent to me with project X in the title, staring at my inbox, nothing has changed, nothing's arrived. But looking across at project one, there are now two unread emails in here. If I select that folder, I can see two emails from Gaivacaro Hotmail and Gaivacaro that both have project X in the title and both have been moved into that folder with no intervention on my behalf at all. So that's a rule that has moved them. So it's file, manage rules and alerts, new rule, and then step through the create a new rule process, which firstly is to set a condition. So what will trigger the rule from actually happening and then tell it what to do once the rule is triggered. And then finally, the option to assign exceptions to that rule. So things that don't trigger the rule from starting in the first place. Finish and your rule exists and will run until you disable it.